Hi, right, let's write an electronic configuration for arsenic. Arsenic is right here. When we write an electronic configuration, we always start from the beginning by filling in these three basic components of an electronic configuration. We have the energy level, we have the type of sublevel, and we have the number of electrons in that specific type of sublevel that belong at a specific energy level. We're starting from the beginning, right here we have energy level 1, and it's in the sub-level S, and within this sub-level there are 1, 2 electrons. Since there's nothing left over here, we have to go on to the next line. Here we have energy level 2, in this sub-level S, there are 1, 2 electrons. Keep going, and we see the P sub-level in the same line, right? So here we have energy level 2 in the sublevel P. At the sublevel 2P, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 electrons. And there's nothing left over here, so we move on to the next line. Here we have energy level 3. And the sublevel is S. There are 1, 2 electrons. And then we move along the line, we have the P sublevel, and this is at energy level 3. So at 3P, there are 6 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, there's nothing left over here, so we have to move on to the next line. Here we have energy level 4. So we have 4, and this is sublevel S. There are 2 electrons, 1, 2. So we have 4S, 2. Now, here it gets tricky because now we have the D. The D is one less in terms of energy level comparing to the S and the P, okay? So here we have 3D. Within this 3D sublevel, how many electrons are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 3D10. But arsenic is all the way over here, so we have to continue. Now, we're no longer in the D anymore, but we are in the P. What is energy level? It is 4, and the sublevel is P, and how many electrons are in 4P sublevel? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But wait a minute, arsenic is right here, so we just stop right there. So it's 1, 2, 3, instead of 6. And there you go.